to read recently. It's um, <coughs> a diary um, of quarantine life in Wuhan from January 25th to oh God, um, March the 18th. It's in Chinese and it's written by Fang Fao, that's a pen name, who um, was stuck in Wuhan at the time. She was actually trying to leave to see her daughter but that was the day when the quarantine was imposed and she was stuck inside. She thought that it was only going to be 14 days, but who found out it was much longer. Um, so um, this is just quite a normal recording from what I've read so far, which is the first couple of days um, of just um, life in Wuhan, what's been going on social media, what's her thoughts, what people have been talking about. It's just a narration of her experiences. Um, but this has um, had um, a lot of international attention because this is sort of this is sort of the only thing that people outside China can use to see how life was like in Wuhan. Um, so it's been shared a lot, and there's been a lot of reflection, but also sympathy as well. It's actually quite courageous of her to express her views in China on this. She was actually blocked a lot of what she used to post because she she's a writer so she posts a lot and she was recently um blocked by weibo which is the main social media platform in china a bit like twitter and facebook over here um because so actually this first day she's saying i don't know if i can if anyone can see this because i think this might be bl uh blocked by weibo but if you can please uh write a comment below so that i know i'll try though um so eventually it was able to be seen it was um shared a lot on other social media platforms um and it was also um that i think there were some american and german publishers who wanted to publish this in english um as this book i think it's coming out in summer here um wuhan diary dispatches from a quarantine city hasn't come out yet but this has brought a lot of um criticism um there are people saying that this is going against national interest it's damaging uh the country's image um, and they are all saying this in the name of patriotism that this is bringing shame on china publicly um and that this diary is um showing to, uh to the world sort of the weak, the weak side yeah the weak side of Wuhan though in this there's quite a lot of positivity because it was written during the time of course she wanted to um, spread the positivity um, to encourage people to get through this together um, so it's such it's quite courageous of her to do this she has uh, had a lot of criticism uh, she's been blocked on so, uh, quite a few social medias for style as well, I think. Um, but there are also people supporting her, saying that her expressions, her views, shouldn't be linked to the choice uh, um, and sort of the freedom of the publishers. What I've done is I've sorted, um, I've summarised each um, day and sort of wrote it in my school homework diary. Where's the first page? So this is what's been happening, and this is my daily workload. So that's a summarization in green, and it's like quite a difference to see what they've been, they were experiencing, and us uh, sort of having a like um quite a normal life back then. I know now it's changed. Um. But I do have quite a few friends in Wuhan, so it's quite uh, hard for me to see that we've been going to school, everything, and this is happening uh, in Wuhan. Is this time up? 